Hi everyone, good evening. Welcome back to my channel, Jewel Fay Readings. And I'm glad to have you here. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. Tonight I want to give you a reading on, I feel like this is on a lot of people's minds, especially if you're involved with someone romantically or you're committed to someone like just dating maybe you're ready for the next level so maybe you're wondering in the back of your mind am I going to get proposed to by the end of the year so I have shuffled my decks for you and I've already picked them out we have deck one deck two deck three four Ponder the question, am I getting proposed to by the end of the year? All right, med meditate on that for a moment and meditate on the number in which you would like. Deck one. Deck two. Deck three. All right, now I will pull more cards if need be for the already pre-shuffled deck to confirm what we have going on here. And I'll get started with deck number one, people. Okay, deck number one, people. If you chose deck number one, I'm seeing a situation here where the person that you're dealing with are involved with romantically this person has a choice to make between you and another person however it's not looking bad here in the situation of course there's a delay so it may not be coming as fast as you want it to be I feel like you have been wanting this for a while now. Maybe you've been thinking about this for close to a year now, wanting to have something uh, solid with this person, something more stable. Um, I don't see a marriage proposal within this year. However, I do see someone wanting to offer you a little something. Something that works for the both of you, something like, say, if you're dating this person, now they're like, okay, let's take it to the next step. Like, let's be boyfriend, girlfriend. Or if you're boyfriend, girlfriend, and maybe, I want to say, like, uh, if you're boyfriend, girlfriend, then... Maybe he wants to bring you around family now or like put it out there, whereas before it was secretive. Someone like that. However, I don't see a proposal in. Yeah, let's see what the fairy decks have to say for encouragement for you. 
So let's see if you're in a situation too where you honestly may just have to be very patient with this person. But uh, they could be kind of like coming out of their player ways. I, I feel like they're kind of in a player type energy, honestly. Because it looks like they have options and they're still like trying to play those options. Yet they look at you as like a diamond. And um, I feel like you're like the best option that they have. So let's see what the fairies have to say in regards to this situation. Okay, so the fairies have spoken. And we have the princess of summer, the princess of spring which says optimistic, enthusiastic, creative, energetic, energetic. Why can I not speak to <laughs> Energetic. So it's time for you to go after your dreams. It's time for you, you know, don't, I'm feeling like, don't wait around for something that's not worth it, you know, type thing like this lady here she looks like a free spirit she's not gonna let anything or anyone hold her back or you know hold her down she's flying free she's smiling she's radiant she's single and she's enjoying life to the fullest she's living her best life so i feel like deck number one people you need to really just Kind of focus in on yourself and go after your dreams. There's something that you've been contemplating and doing that you haven't done yet. You need to do it. Are there something that you started that you haven't like put any more effort into finishing? And I feel like you need to do that. You know, just go ahead and tap into that creative niche whatever it is that you have when you do that creative thing when you're focusing in on yourself that's when you're going to attract the real you know the real <laughs> so okay deck number one people i hope you enjoyed that I do offer personal readings, and if you would like one, my email will be down below. All right. Deck number two, people. Let's see what we have for you. Okay, deck number two, people. I feel like you have a person here that is definitely wanting to propose to you. Definitely. This person has cut out people, places, and things that have gotten in the way of him being able to give you more and i feel like you've been worried for no reason at all so stop worrying your little head off relax breathe in breathe out this person wants you they're watching you and i feel like they've been watching you in a way to where you're like, okay, is she really the one? Like, or, you know, is she really the one? And I also see two people coming together and increasing their finances. 
and I see a proposal within about three months. Now I just want to double confirm that because <laughs> noticing, you know, I just wanted to, you know, really make sure that's what was coming in. But this person looks so serious about you, like super serious about you. And I kind of feel like they're also kind of worried in a way, like worried that maybe you might like move on to someone else or like give up on them or something is what I'm picking up. But uh, let's see about the three months. I just want to double confirm that. Give me a second here. Number two people. Yes, honeys, it's coming soon. Soon, 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 soon. If not in three months, definitely before the year. So make sure you comment below and let me know, like, what happens here. Like, I definitely want to know details. Let's see what the fairies have to say. That's so cool, deck number two. I'm so happy for you guys. Congratulations in advance. <laughs> Okay, so two winner. Yeah, someone was stuck for a while making a decision that was a hard decision to make for them. Yeah, and then they decided there was you a better option that they don't want to let go of. Oh, yeah, so you're definitely going to get great news. That's what the fairies is telling me. This person really did um, have to make a hard decision with the two of winner card here. They ended up leaving that person, and they're coming towards you. They saw, oh, there's a better choice for me. I'm taking that leap. And then here you are, princess. I mean, yeah, princess of autumn. You're about to get happy news from this person. Oh, they're going to propose to you. Yay! I'm so happy for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Deck number three, people. Let's see what we have for you. Oh gosh, really? Hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of like really wondering if this could be true. Huh. Hmm. Deck number two people. I mean, three, <laughs> sorry, we're on three. I'm just taken back by this. Uh, yes, this person's going to propose to you. I want to say within two months to a year. <laughs> it, it seems like it's coming fast. It seems like this person had to move on from something. Something came into completion. I feel like you've been waiting patiently and you've endured the situation that they put you through. And you may not have been in communication with this person for about two weeks or so now, but now they're coming. <laughs> they're coming with heavy communication because they finally 
looks like they moved on from something and something came into completion within their life. Yeah, and they're definitely coming to offer you, I see a proposal. I definitely do see one for you, deck number three people. And it's pretty clear and straight to the point. And this person is decided, like they definitely know what they want. And what they want is you. <laughs> like, I, it's so interesting how the cards came up. And it's, that's why I'm kind of taken back by it. But congratulations for you too. Let's see what the fairies have to say. Fairy guys, and what do you have to say about deck number three people? Sex of summer. So maybe you will get a, pro a, a proposal by the summer. And you see here, there's like two childhood friends reminiscing in a very playful, spirited mood. So that's beautiful. How lovely is that? And I just want you guys to see the spread because I want you to see that I'm not tripping when I said the cards came out in a very interesting way. Like, look here. We got two sixes, two twos, and ten in the King of Swords. And then we got another six, which just double confirms everything I just said. So that was pretty clear and straight to the point. I hope that you all really enjoyed this reading. Like I said, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to be back with another reading. And I will see you soon.